Let me now release their new models. And in this video, I want to show you how you can use them for finance and MLA. But I'm not going to just tell you all of the features that they released. I'm going to show you exactly how you can use them and what prompts to use. By the end of this video, you will be able to generate all of these type of analysis in seconds just using Gemini's new models. So let's start. The first example that I want to show you is what if you want to analyze different stocks like Tesla, Microsoft, Google, and Amazon? Well, for this one, once that you're in Gemini, I'll recommend you to go to the flash model. In this one, if you type the following prompt, so generate Python code to analyze the stocks that you want, and you ask it to generate different data visualizations for you and to use the Y Finance Library, which is the Yahoo Finance Library, then it will generate the Python code for you and explain it as well. Now, the key thing with this one is that you then need to go to another environment like Google Colab, also from Google, and it's like Google Docs, but for programming. And in there, you will paste the code and click this button. So play. Once that you do that, then you will get the visualizations for the stocks that you asked. Now, you can ask for other type of stocks and analyze any type of industry that you might like. That's the first one. Now, second use case. What if you want to research a new industry? For that, I'll recommend you to use this model, the 2.0 Flash Thinking Experimental with Apps. I know, long name. But this one, basically, it can use advanced reasoning, but also access to YouTube, Maps, and Search. So you can ask it that you want to understand the industry of quantum computing for finance, recommend me YouTube videos for this. And in here, at first, it will show you exactly what it is thinking and then recommend you the videos. Now, you can tell it to summarize, let's say, the first video for you. And then again, it will start thinking in here and then recommend you the video and summarize it for you. Now, in case that you don't want to research a new industry, but you want to acquire a new skill, you can do that as well. So let's say that you wanted to go to YouTube and search for videos on how to do an FP&A and finance dashboard using Python in Excel. So it will recommend you some videos in here. And yes, kudos for Gemini to recommend my videos. And in there, similarly, you can ask it to summarize the one that is about building a finance dashboard with Python Excel, for example. And again, it will be summarizing it for you. Now, the third use case is a little bit different. Now, what if you don't want to analyze stock data, but you are going to analyze your own data? So I have this data set in here with me in Excel with some data about dates, customer IDs, product, and invoices. Now, even if I don't want to share the data with Gemini, what I can do is to tell it to act as a finance PhD and data science expert, and again, give me Python code to analyze my data. And in this case, I'm asking it to analyze subscription and invoices, and I want to generate a cohort analysis heat map and other visualizations. Now, the key thing is that I'm telling it that my data is in an Excel file in this location, and how the data looks like. So for that, I will copy and paste the data from the Excel file. Again, it will start thinking and then generate the Python code for me. Now with this, then I'll just need to copy and paste it again in an environment that you can run Python code. Now at this stage, you can run Python code even in Excel. And for that, I'll recommend you another video. But if you want something quick and easy, 
I will recommend you just to go to Google Colab and in there you can paste the Python code in here. Once that you paste it, then you will need to add your data set and for that you will go in the left hand side to, follow, to files, then upload to session storage and upload your file and then paste the code. Now what the code will do will be basically generating this customer retention by cohort month heat map. And once again, if you don't, haven't even seen this type of visual before and you don't know what it means, then you can also ask Gemini. The main thing in here is that you only need, and by the way, if you get errors, you can also tell it and I will help you debug the errors. But once that you get the visual that you want, then you can tell it to help you understand this output and then give me a summary for the startup head of sales. And you can tell it more about your company in there. Now, when I did this, then I basically also pasted a picture of this. So I just did a quick shortcut to get the picture and then paste it in my conversation with Gemini 2.0 flash thinking experimental, as you can see here. As for now, you cannot upload directly here, let's say Excel files, but you can upload images. So that's very useful for it to quickly understand. And again, as you can see here, it will start thinking and then breaking it down in different steps. Now, the next use case is what if you wanted to generate a report about, let's say, the healthcare industry in a particular country like Australia. So you can tell it that you're an equity firm that would like to invest and suggest you some companies and startups to look at. Again, this part, you will see exactly what it is thinking. So you can toggle on it and give you the structure of the report. And then after it starts thinking, then it will give you the actual report. After that, you can also tell it, now give me a report about the financial services industry in France. And again, as you can see here, it will start telling you everything that is thinking in here and then generate the report for you. Now, I want to show you a few other use cases just in Google Colab that you can, again, ask the Python code to Gemini and then do it in Google Colab. So these ones were to do more stock market analysis, which is the one that we showed before, but you can also do Monte Carlo simulations in order to simulate different future futures for your, let's say, operating income or breaking down key financial metrics like revenue, gross profit, operating income. And you can also do more stock market analysis in here. So this code, for example, when I play it, I put a stock tick. So Apple, for example. So and then I enter a time frame. So let's say one month. And it will generate very quickly, as you can see here, the stock closing prices, the trading volume, and then this candlestick chart. Now, another use case, this is the last one, more for FPNA. You can ask it also to generate, let's say, an interactive graph and or map in this case for sales that every country is colored by the number of sales that it produces and even a heat map to do a correlation between sales and other factors like advertising spend, customer satisfaction, and market share. Now, hope you like this video. I try to be very practical about the different features that the new models from Gemini have. Now, I'll also put in the description below the other videos that I showed about Python in Excel and about using Google Colab. 
but also this announcement from Google from yesterday with all of the different assessments of its models. Hope you enjoy and help me by liking and subscribe. See you next time.